Welcome, friends, subscribers, viewers. Welcome. I thought I'd get out this afternoon and just enjoy nature on these Tennessee ridges. I'm always out in them anyway. No, I'm not metal detecting today. I'm just scouting around for turkey sign and morales of ch hickory chickens will be up pretty soon. I'm just scouting around and enjoying nature. You know what I mean. Down below me on these ridges is this rat race. Progress, they call it. Traffic, out of traffic. You can't hear yourself think. But up here, it's just God's nature. Nothing better. But I thought I'd share a little old story here with you. Well, I got my walking stick here. Now, this old walking stick, never been cut on, never been nothing man-made about this walking stick. Get a walking stick. And I'll show you some better pictures of it. But this is an old walking stick just totally made by nature. Made by a beaver. Natural. No man has never done nothing but just carry it. This natural walking stick right there. And this was found by my father-in-law probably 30 years ago. He's no longer with us. But he was a logger here in these mountains in southeast Kentucky. And he, uh, he got into where strip jobs working on strip mining and stuff. That's where the money was at. But he done mostly reclaiming. And they'd reclaim, they'd build ponds and stuff like that, fix the roads, and plant trees, and reclaim the land after they got done stripping it. And he was down here around some ponds one day, checking out where he needed to take that dozer. And he just happened to see this stick laying there. And he was odd. And you can see pictures here of the stick. See all the little teeth mark on it? It's completely gnawed by a beaver from top to bottom. Perfect limb for a walking stick, too. Okay? That's just so odd that he would find that of all the sticks. Didn't have to cut it off, didn't have to trim it, didn't have to do nothing. And you can see where they trimmed all the bark off of it, just teeth marks all the way down. That's funny. That's a walking stick made purely by nature. So, I thought I'd share that little bit of history with you. These old mountains are so beautiful. Just so beautiful and it's gonna get beautiful, more and more. I'm glad to see winter gone, and I know you are too. So I'm gonna continue on doing a little scouting, see if I can find some, where some hickory chickens usually are. I know there's plenty of turkey sign in here for sure. They've got these woods to all the pieces. So I wanna thank you all for watching. Thanks for listening to these stories. God bless, and I'll see you next time.